So now we're ready to put this on our laser template. Uh, to do that, we first want to uh, uh, download the template. You can do this uh, at our temporary blog, which is su-designworks.wordpress.com. And here we are, our lovely uh, blog, uh, where you can um, keep up to date on all of our the happenings here at uh, DesignWorks. Uh, so I just put this up yesterday, so there's not much on here. But our first uh, blog entry here uh, is about the files for the laser cutter. And you can read this when you um, come here. Uh, I've converted the, the file for uh, Adobe CS4, which I'm working in today, CS3, uh, which will also work, although CS2 doesn't really export the DWG right, so um, we are not recommend that you use CS2. I've also converted it for Rhino um, and, of course, AutoCAD. So you can click any one of these links to download the one you want. Also, there's a download box here where um, all the files are available as well. So um, I would like to download the CS4 template. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to download it. And I'll just put it on my desktop. Okay, now I want to open up that file in Illustrator. All right, so here is the laser template. Um, it has some directions up here, uh, a, a place for your name, your telephone, your email and phone number, the material you're cutting it, and the thickness you're cutting. It's good to fill all those things out um, because. And uh, then if something goes wrong, we have an idea of who to call and, and what to do. Also, you'll notice up here that there's uh, two layers, null and skip, that has all this stuff on it. And then three other layers. We have cut, fold, and score. These are the three uh, depths of cut we have on our laser cutter. Cut obviously is cutting all the way through. Fold uh, is cutting um, deeper than the score because uh, it's, it'll say, cut halfway through your material. Not all materials uh, is fold an option. I mean, fold works for cardboard and paper and those kind of things, but wood and plexiglass rigid materials don't fold. And then score is a light, uh, you know, cut. So it just kind of scores the surface or burns the surface. If you want a deeper score and you're using a thick material like a plywood or MDF or even a thick chipboard, you can do use the fold um, and get a little deeper cut if that's something that you want. Also, plexiglass. Um, but if you do that, you need to alert the operator because on a lot of the presets, those layers are turned off. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got our uh, template open. It should be to scale, so everything needs to fit inside this box. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to copy it. Go back to my laser template, and I know every most everything that I have in this is going to be a score. So I'm going to select the score layer, so I'm pasting into that, and go and V, uh, control V, and then I am going to position this. Um, the best I can. I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, notice here that there are some little light gray lines around the edge. There is a quarter inch 
border that um, you do not want to have your stuff, your the stuff that you want cut um, closer to the edge than that quarter of an inch. So I'm just looking to make sure that everything looks okay. I've got it in there. Um, it fits within that quarter inch. Okay, so that's all set. I'll unselect everything now. But right now, everything is on the score layer. So there are a couple of things that I know I want cut all the way through. I want this hammer cut through, and I want um, this text cut through. But I do not want the fish cut through. All right. So I've got the text shop monitor, be a shop monitor, and oops, the hammer selected. I'm going to go and I want those on the cut layer. So I'm going to select my cut layer up here. And then if I come down here and right click and go to arrange, send a current layer. Uh, I think I can also do that up here if you don't have a three-button mouse. Under Object, Arrange, Send to Current Layer. Okay. Now, uh, I should, I can check this by turning off my score. And, yeah, that's what I want cut. Be a shop monitor and a hammer. Turn my score layer on and my cut layer off and that's what I want scored. Okay, so turn all those layers on. Next thing, I should have mentioned this before, but any sort of uh, guides that you're using, the rulers, uh, any of those things should be turned off and, and deleted because even if they're on a hidden layer, uh, when you export it out as a DWG, everything gets exported. So um, delete any stuff that you don't want on there. Otherwise, it'll come through and we'll have to delete it and um, AutoCAD and everyone will be grumpy. Okay, so I have no folds here. I have cut and I have score layer. I'm all set. So now I'm ready to export it out. So I'm going to go up here uh, to um, export, which is under the file menu. I'm going to click that. Under format here, I'm going to change this to an AutoCAD DWG. Click that. And then very important up here is um, my file name. And we operate with a file naming convention down here in DesignWorks and that is the start of your file needs to be your net ID or your the first part of your SU email address then um, if you would like you can put in your um, cell number if you choose to put your cell number in there if there's a problem with your file once you drop it off we can call you instead of having to send you an email and it makes like dealing with any problems a little quicker but if you don't want to give out your cell phone number that's fine and we can just send you emails if there's problems and then you can put your um, file name so I have net ID cell number file name so net ID, cell number, and then my file name. And then I'm going to export that out wherever. This is going to the desktop, so that's fun. Hit export. Um, and you want to just glance at these settings. The default should be uh, OK. Um, 2004, 2005, 2006 is all right. Uh, this is the big one. You want to make sure that it's scaled 1 to 1. Um, 1 to artwork scale to one inch. Uh, these things you can just leave the way they are. And then hit OK. Alright, so that is pretty much it. You've exported out